Well, this is a picture of the DSM-5. Okay, so if you look at the ones that came before, the DSM-1, um, excuse me, DSM-2, 3, and 4, it has the three revisions. It's the three, three revised, four, four revised. Okay, now let me read to you about the DSM-5. This is from the DSM website. Publication of the fifth edition of Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5, in May 2013 will mark one of the most anticipated events in the mental health field. We thank you for your interest in DSM-5 and hope that you use this website not only to learn more about DSM-5, but also about its history, its impact, and its developers. Please continue to check the site frequently for updates and more information, blah, blah, blah. So, the DSM-5 is coming in 2013. And it, it goes on to talk about how, the website goes on to talk about how there's a DSM-5 task force. Now remember, there's always these superficial regulatory agencies that are really just responsible for expressing the pharmaceutical company's wishes in the form of uh, the next DSM, making sure it comes out you know, to their expectations, to their liking. <laughs> That's what the task force is responsible for, if you ask me. Now, you go to the, um, the DSM-5. Notice how it's gotten a lot bigger since the, the 2 is very small, then 3, a little bit bigger, DSM-4 is bigger, then, wow, you got this DSM-5, it's just ridiculous. So, if you understand how this works, then you understand why it doesn't work. That's the point of going through the DSM over and over again to show you how over the years things have gotten worse, they haven't gotten better, and there's more control over people, especially in the terms of civil rights, you know, and human rights. The you see these big corporations that are owned by people in secret societies who have the controlling interests of these corporations and companies and they lobby Congress and lobby politicians and the president and all these people and you know all of our so-called representatives in Congress are really bootlicking to big business and there's you know there's a lot of stuff going on under the table a lot of money being taken you know, a lot of favors being done, and in the end, the most profitable industry in America, the pharmaceutical industry, is taking advantage big time. And this mostly goes for um, goes for the companies involved with making psychotropic medications, for making uh, psych meds. Thank you.